Hey, hey. I, uh, many of you may already know I love my old Buick Century, and it's like old worn out shoe. I can't get rid of it. It just feels great. Car runs really well. Of course, it's pretty old. It's got 180, 90,000 miles on it, and little things are starting to go out. I've rebuilt just about everything, to be honest. Right now, it's the fuel pump. Um, I've already done some work on that, but I wanted to go over some of the symptoms. Um, this is a really awesome drivetrain. I, I, I love the 3100. Uh, it's in many cars, so this procedure will work for quite a few cars. I'll list those below the video, as well as some parts you can pick up to do the same work I'm doing. Um, yeah, so how I troubleshoot my fuel pump is first, you need to get yourself a fuel pressure gauge. I'll put a link to where you can buy one that will work. Or you can typically rent them from your parts store. This is a Schrader valve on your fuel rail, the high side of the fuel system. So you can plug right in there. This cap screws off and much like a bicycle tire you, or a, a car tire, you screw this gauge on there. And if it reads really high pressure, most likely your um, fuel pressure regulator right here on the far end of the high side is shot. Or if it reads really low pressure, um, then this may also be shot. So the way you can test the uh, pressure regulator is if it's reading really low pressure, you're going to have a ton of flow coming out your uh, low line, which is one of these two. I always get them mixed up. I think it's the smaller one. Um, you could see, of course, if all this was removed, one of these goes directly into your fuel rail with your injectors comes back out into the pressure regulator and down back through the other line to your tank. I believe it's the smaller line that is the, uh, the, uh, the return to your sending unit or your tank. Uh, you need a release tool to pop these off. It's relatively inexpensive. I'll show you where you can get that. One second, I'll actually show you mine. So I will show you where you can get these disconnect line tool set. And um, these, they're, they're inexpensive. They slide over the line, you push it in, it releases the clips and you can pop it off. But before you do that, one little trick, before you ever, ever um, open up your fuel lines, what you wanna do is come in your relay, fuse relay here, you're gonna depressurize the system. Even if you think your pump is dead, and that's the reason you're not getting any pressure or anything, still do this. You're going to pull your fuel pump relay on my car. I just, I've done it so many times. I know it's this one right here, but you'll look in here for fuel pump. You'll pull it out and you will crank your ignition. What that does is it releases um, all the pressure from the line, eats up the fuel in your cylinders you know, your engine, and then it will, uh, it will save you a lot of headache. Because if you open that up under pressure, it will spray fuel everywhere. And as an extra precaution, when your engine's cool, it's probably better to do this with a cool engine, you might want to put some shop rags under these because you will get a little leak when it, when it comes out, regardless of how much pressure is or isn't there. So you've cracked the line open. You have... Um, Let's say you have good flow through there, then your pump is definitely suspect. On your return line, you have good flow. So um, if not, if you, you probably have um, pretty high pressure in the rail, and this, this guy would not be um, sending it back. So how this works is it's got a vacuum line here, and then there's a little diaphragm with a spring under it. And as this uh, high side pushes against that diaphragm, it regulates the pressure to a constant pressure. I think it's on this car around 35 to 40 PSI. So if you're not getting that or seeing that 35 to 40 PSI in your rail, then your pump is, is probably out. Um, and it should build up to that pretty quickly when you um, turn the ignition on, but don't start the car because that's how you're going to test it. I'm all over the map here, guys. I hope this is helpful. But um, yeah, so just a quick summary. Hook your pressure gauge up to this Schrader port here. You're going to go in your car. You're going to turn on the ignition, but you're not going to start it. 
and it should build pressure to between 35 and 40 PSI real quickly. Um, then you're going to start the car and it should maintain that pressure in the rail, that 35 to 40 PSI. It shouldn't be dropping. Um, if that's the case, then your pump is, is fine. Um, if it isn't, then you may need to troubleshoot your uh, pressure regulator. They're pretty simple, though. I've never had one go out. Uh, the way you can do that is by opening up your, your, uh, your return line to your tank and um, seeing if you have good flow there. If you do, um, maybe this is still suspect. I don't know. But this, this video is really going to be on changing your, your fuel pump, your fuel sending units, the, the scientific term for that. So I'll do another video on how to start opening things up.